Hey guys, this is Kevin with Mallard Painting, and today we're going to play with some tapes. We're going to try and snap some straight lines um, with tape today. And I have a couple different types of tape here we're going to use just to check and see. Um, I'm also going to show you guys a little trick that you may or may not already know um, with uh, frog tape and with tape and caulking. Um, so I have four brands of tape here. I have um, the uh, 2020 Scotch, uh, the staple here, this is what we use for almost everything in production because it's cheap and it pulls straight off the masking machine. Um, and we use this in inch and a half, 1.41 and uh, one or point, uh, 0.91 uh, inch tape. And then also we have the purple tape here. This is new, it's a uh, 2080 from Scotch. Um, and then we have 2090 from Scotch. Uh, this is the most common blue tape uh, people use. And then we have the new Frog Tape Contractor Series, uh, very similar to the green tape that comes only in single rolls, but now they sell this Frog Tape in rolls of four at a contractor price. So I'm interested to try this. Um, first things first, uh, we'll just go ahead and lay down our tape. Um, so I'm going to lay down. Here's the Scotch 2020. And I have these uh, painted cabinet faces to do our, our kind of our samples on. Uh, okay, I'm going to put one right there. I'm going to wipe it one time. There we go. And next, I'm going to put my... Uh, delicate, this is for delicate, this purple Scotch 2080. Uh, delicate surfaces, meaning that the glue resins on the tape here is probably a 21 day release and it won't transfer any glue out of the, the paper. So and that's really the way tape works is you have paper and you have glue. Um, the 2020, however, is only a two two or three day release uh, before it transfers glue onto the surface. Here we go, there's our purple. Uh, here's our 2020 Scotch Blue. This is our preferred tape. And we're gonna go like that. And then lastly, we have our brand new blue contractor frog tape. I'm gonna lay down here. Okay, so a lot of you guys I know don't use tape at all, which I think is crazy. Um, I just think that um, using tape gives a crisp, more professional line. And once you learn how to use tape, it's way quicker than um, and, and it's more professional. So uh, I know that that's been the debate of uh, all time too. So first things first, we are going to put, I uh, have a cashmere flat interior wall paint here and I have a uh, inch and a half purdy sash brush here and we're gonna put uh, some paint on that tape line and no, nothing against it. We're just going to go for it here. We already know this is going to bleed like crazy. If you've done any painting at all, you know that that is going to bleed like crazy. Okay, we're going to do, there we go. Nice, heavy, heavy coat right there. Okay, now we have our uh, delicate, uh, purple here and we're gonna put some on that um, and the way that this frog tape is supposed to work is there is an agent in this frog tape that's kind of like a diaper when you get it wet it swells up so I talked to the frog tape rep and I asked him, hey, would it be better to take a wet rag and wipe 
the tape first to activate the glue before you paint it. And he said, no, the paint activates it instantly. So according to him, when you brush across here, it activates before the paint leaks under the tape. Now, I, I heard a little trick. If you're to take a wet rag and wipe it first and then paint, that it seals a better edge. So that is what we are gonna do today. I am gonna wipe this edge here with a wet rag to activate that glue. So that um, is now activated. And then I am going to put um, my paint across the blue frog tape. Nice heavy coats here. That way we get a nice uh, even comparison. Now, here's what we like to do. Okay, nice heavy coat there. Here's what we like to do. We will take caulking, and if you're painting on the white, we use white caulking. If you're painting on the dark colors, you use clear caulking. And uh, we will actually put a, a little bead, really little bead of caulking over that edge. Okay, we kind of know these ones are already going to bleed, the 2020 and the 2080. We kind of already know those are going to bleed. Um, but I'm trying to put my, I like to wipe it, make sure that edge is sealed. And then I take my wet rag and clean as much of that off as possible. Um, there we go. Okay, it's pretty much all wiped back off there. And now we're gonna put the paint on our 2020 blue. This is our preferred method. And if you put a big fat bead of that caulking on there and you don't wipe most of it off, it'll leave a really hard edge right here, which isn't ideal. So it actually takes a little time to figure out how to do that. And also, um, it takes a little time to be able to apply the tape straight. So yeah, you know, if you've been in the game a long time and you know how to work a brush, um, almost anybody after a couple, you know, two years of painting can cut a nice straight line without tape. You should be able to cut in a ceiling line. But when you're taping on smooth white trim, um, you know, I don't care how good your Picasso hand is, um, a tape is going to outperform, um, a brush any day. It's going to be, it's going to be sharp as wallpaper. So anyway, here comes the big reveal. Here's our 2020 tape. All right. We're going to pull the 2020. It actually did way better than I thought it would. Get my trash can over here. The 2020 actually did way better than I thought it would. Okay, here comes the uh, 2080 purple. Um, so you can see um, the purple actually bled more than the 2020. I'm surprised by that. Being how the 2020 is a thinner kind of paper, I would figure it would seal better than the old. But this is stickier, so maybe it made a better seal. All right, here we go. 2020 blue. Absolutely perfect razor sharp line. Um, no bleeders. Okay, let's try the uh, blue frog tape. 
That one's pretty damn good too. Let's take a look at those. So um, this edge is the uh, blue frog and this edge is the 2020 with caulking trick and you can see uh both of them are pretty damn perfect if i had to critique anything i would say the frog tape just looks slightly more jagged but it's straight and it is um it's pretty perfect um and the uh, blue tape, the 2020 with the caulking trick is immaculate. It's razor sharp. Uh, there's zero bleeders anywhere. Um, so anyway, I hope that was uh, informative. I, I'm actually as surprised as you are that uh, I'm, the frog tape works. Um, I'm, pretty, I'm pretty excited about that. I, ha I have, however, heard that if you leave the frog tape on for a long period of time, the glue does transfer a lot quicker than 2020. So I would be um, kind of want to see that perform, you know, on a couple of jobs and see how well that did. The 2020 with caulking, we've used this for, I've used this for probably 12, 13 years and, um, and it's always worked really well. Um, so anyway, I'm Kevin with Mallard Painting Company. Um, hope you like this uh, video. If you do, please subscribe. Uh, if you have any questions, our website's mallardpainting.com, M-A-L-L-E-R-P-A-I-N-T-I-N-G.com. I said that wrong, I think. And uh, hopefully um, you found that informative and uh, um, hope to see you on the next video. Peace.